In this video, we're going to show you how to add climate control to one of the buttons on your key fob. If you find this video helpful, subscribe <laughs> and like the video for future content. <laughs> In order to use the Bimmercode app, you're going to need a dongle to connect to your phone and your car. So I use VPeak and uh, it connects to the OBD port in the car, which is underneath the steering wheel here. And I'll show you where that is. This is what it looks like. Make sure the Bimmer Code app is downloaded on your phone and ready to go. Once your dongle is installed, you're gonna to wanna to turn on your car, put your phone into airplane mode so that you don't get any interference while you're coding your car. And then you want to go into your Bluetooth settings and pair a new device. Ours is VPeak. Enter whatever your password is. Ours is one, two, three, four. Once that's paired, you're gonna go back into the Bimmer Code app, click connect. Select your model car, ours is the i3, and then it might take a second to load. Okay, so once it's finished loading, go into the body domain controller and that might also take a minute for it to load. Once it's loaded and you're in the body domain controller, there's a toggle up at the top of the screen for expert mode, so turn that on. It'll prompt you with a warning, so just accept. <laughs> what is the warning? The warning uh, says uh, that it's just be careful when you're coding it, don't disconnect from the car, don't turn off your phone and um, let everything finish before you're done. Okay. And then once expert mode's turned on, uh, you're gonna wanna scroll down to 30D0. Let's see, and there we are. It's, it's labeled remote control. And then once you're in the remote control, you can scroll down to where it says RC default fourth button, and what we're gonna change today is the long press. So you click on that. It's set to WERT three, which is the uh, panic alarm. We're gonna set it to WERT seven, which is climate control. So just click that, hit save up in the corner. And now that that's saved, it'll be ready to change it. You back out of that screen. And then at the bottom where it says code, just click on that. And then another important note will come up about coding and it'll prompt you again to just like, be careful, don't disconnect anything, let everything finish. And uh, once you're ready to do that, just hit start coding and then it'll begin the process. And then you're done. Why did it say that? Uh, that's just, it gives errors and stuff. Hmm. When you've coated your car. You broke my car! Yeah, when you're coating your car, it might flash with some uh, random error what? codes and stuff like that. But these things just go away. That's just, so you can click through those. And then once they're gone, you should be hmm. all set. <laughs> those aren't real? They're not real. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we didn't get in an accident. <laughs> so we recoded the panic alarm button for the long press so that it's no longer the panic alarm, it's the climate control. So if you hold down on it for a few seconds, it should turn on the climate control. And it worked. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's how you add climate control to your key fob.